Hi guys, it's Noel Rose Anderson, hyphen Kale, legally born ML and And I gotta say this, okay? I don't know why it's getting stupider and stupider in this whole video. So yes, I am a girl. See, they're still here, nipples and everything. And this is what I gotta do because you guys are apparently worried that I'm turning into a man for some reason. My hormones are fine, guys. Don't have a cow, please. Um, sending you the love. So, um, this is a big problem. We, guys, if you didn't want us to go back home, you needed to say, don't go back home, stay out east. It's worse out west, and now we regret leaving. So, this is not working. Like, nowhere, no way, no how. And it's pissing us off more. I mean, why is it that you guys have to talk in riddles and rhymes so much to the point where you're causing more harm and damage to us? I don't understand it, okay? I, I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Um, I don't know if you guys know that there's a better way to communicate because you've been so wrapped up in this Q thing and I just don't, I don't do that. I'm not interested in it. Obviously, I say things for what they are. And, oh my god, I, I, there's nothing about this I like, okay? And I'm sure there's nothing about any of this that you guys like either, but I'm pretty sure that we're suffering more than anybody, and I'm, you know, we're just done with it. And just a little hint and a little clue, don't piss off people like us and what we represent, and we are the answer and the key to winning this. And every day that you don't just talk to us and pick up the phone and call us and make it very obvious of what we're supposed to do, it pisses us off and we are less and less likely to help you. So I, I don't understand. You guys need to engage something in your brains here and understand what we're saying. We are less likely to help you every day. You leave us out here to just kind of fend for ourselves and die. We asked for help. Okay, we didn't ask to be sent on this lame-ass journey of riddle solving. When I feel good and I'm not being chased down and hunted, I, I don't mind doing a riddle or two. One or two. And then I never want to do a fucking riddle again for about a year. It's supposed to be for fun. It's supposed to be for fun. It's supposed to be for your life depends on it. We feel used. You know, I... And I, that's why I said when we solved the George Washington, King George little riddle, ancient riddle thing, whatever the hell that was, it's like, you want to just come all the way the fuck out here for this shit? <laughs> we're going to solve this riddle at home, you know? And so we're not riddle solving anymore, obviously. Whatever remains untold, it's going to remain untold. Or, or you guys can say what it is when this is all resolved, you know? I'm not fucking interested in it. I... I am, we are dying. We're all dying slowly from this poisoning. So why do I give two shits about that? The only, do you guys even understand? The only thing a suffering person cares about is not suffering anymore. So I don't know what my second dad told you guys, but apparently he lied a lot. That's what I'm getting. We never agreed to this, which I know you guys know that now. We never wanted, I mean, it's not like, yeah, we want to save the world and do all, that just ended up happening in a sense. We needed help, okay? We asked you guys to help us with the intellectual property theft, and then one thing led to another, it just led to another, it just led to another, and that's like, oh, cute. We didn't know. All we knew is that corporations were putting things on actors and writers and producers, and my shit was being used without me knowing about it until way after the fact, and I never received compensation. And then, you know, the nobility thing I knew about in my family for a long time, I didn't, so, you know. And then I found out y'all knew more about my ancestry and my history and my lineage than, than I did. So then I got more pissed off because I'm like, wait a minute, why do total strangers, well some of you I know, I know more about me than me? Why didn't my family tell me? Did they think they were protecting me? Did they sell me as a slave and that's why they don't want me to rock the boat? Are they so cute vetted that their brains are wormed too and they're trying to tell us, yeah, good idea, get a U-Haul and leave. Yeah, do this. And it's like, it's, it's only led to destruction, damage, and loss. You know, so this is pissing us off completely. And um, you know, just a little heads up. I don't know if it's gonna work for the future, but you know, 
every day that you let us suffer out here is one more day that we're getting more and more enraged and less and less likely to want to just say, yeah, we'll help you. I, I mean, yeah, that's like a normal human response. If there's a wounded animal, they say to stay away, actually, and get somebody who knows what they're doing to properly love and, and let there be a trust relationship built up with that wounded animal so that person can heal them. You don't tell that wounded animal, okay, you know, you were hired for this job, go do it, slave, go, go, what the fuck are you doing, how dare you be wounded and hurt. I mean, you guys did a lot of damage to us by neglecting to help us, and, you know, you all seem really happy for some reason. I don't know what it is. I would like to be happy too. <laughs> Because, I mean, this is really ridiculous what you guys did to us and allowed to have that happen. I just want to have a good life. I want you guys to have a good life too, but you know what? This is not the way to do it. And I want to know, was it my second dad? That's just how betrayed we are. I saw him as a second father. What was he thinking? Bar screwed it up, classifying all this, so now we have to rebuild the case. No, you don't, because something like this, there's attempted murder, there's poisoning, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And that leads all the way to intellectual property and becomes this one big case. You guys even study the law? This is not a statute of limitations here, not something like this. We can go back with all of this stuff that was stolen from me, and that's not off the table. Just because we notified these companies two years ago and it, it lapsed a little bit, it's still fresh because of all this other stuff tied to it. So, you know, I... I oh, the, the lighting got screwed Yeah, up. it's... <laughs> you have to either get all the way into the light or wait till it goes away. I don't know, I'm so annoyed with everything. Yeah, that'll work for now. So, you know, guys, we just want to be rescued. What don't you understand about that? We want to be rescued. We want to go. I can't put my eyeballs in the sun. It's going to, like, blind me. Yep, that's the same problem. Yeah, you... a silhouette. Okay, you know, I just can't solve uh, this. See, this is still better than before. At least we can see. Maybe I'll get this way. Here, put it this way. Oh, put it over here. Okay. There, that's better. Go. Ah. It's it's because it's being blown out over here. Mm. So you know, um, we are human beings, just like you are. I wouldn't expect you to be tortured like this. So all of these things, crimes against humanity, um, the the fact about our Jewish heritage and stuff like that, and us being basically annihilated for our race. I mean, these are things that are not off the table. You guys do understand that, right? And so all of this is threaded, and what is one of those ways that they destroyed us? Well, they stole intellectual property, so it no longer becomes just intellectual property theft. It becomes a bigger case of showing racism. You see how that works? So it, it wasn't a statute of limitations thing. Um, it was a matter of keeping it fresh while the rest of the stuff behind the scenes was being done, which I don't agree with, and I don't think you guys agree with either. And, and you know, I understand the fact that you want to make sure you get to the, the heart of the matter and the, the root problem, right? And I'm not dropping a hint. I, I we did that whole thing about my roots and everything. Can you please stop? So I'm trying to figure out because the light's already changing. Turn again. the camera this way and keep it there. Oh. I'm getting annoyed, okay? I keep saying what to do and it you don't do it. Because it was changing, I was trying to fix it. Like Okay, I'm a then cameraman. you say, Hey mom. Okay. Let me know that it's changing and I'll just go further this way and then you just turn it further this way, okay? Alright. Um see this is not good. We are in a very bad situation. We are very annoyed. We don't have any patience. This stuff makes us wanna just just that's you know. Okay, so, you know, I've got a long fuse, but there's no fucking way that anybody, any of you would do this for almost 15 months like this. And then have somebody do some cockamamie, not good idea, to do this. I keep saying, the best thing to do, we need to go live, do a little thing, White House, okay? We know what to do. 
We've thought this through long. We've thought. We've thought this through long before you guys did, and we kept telling my second dad, we need to do this, we need to do this, we need to do this, and we were like ignored. It's probably because there was somebody in queue, a minion, just warming his brain, trying to basically kill us, you know, and that's not a good thing. And we've known all along what we've needed to do. It is the best way, it is the safest way, it is the way that is going to have a higher return. Guys, we can't promise anything for the future that nobody's ever going to sin again and go crazy. How can we possibly do that? We can't. Because people have free will. But now anybody who's guilty needs to be watched very carefully now, right? That's how you do this. I. But you guys seem excited about something, and I wish to God that you would help us be excited too. Because we don't know what the hell is going on, and you know, I would like to know. Can you guys just call us and tell us what do we do? Okay? I don't know how close we are to our salvation, okay? And we really kind of need that right now. Um, I'm strong, but you guys are doing this wrong again. So it's worse out west and now we regret leaving but you know you guys give us no n nothing at all like I said in my other video you guys have each other and you're around each other and that alone gives you such a huge turn off the engine yeah. such a huge advantage hold on I'm gonna do a part two on this